How to answer an exam standard question in 10 easy steps. Step 9. We're now going to look at the sales variances. Again, we go back to the source information and we highlight the information that is needed for the sales variances. If we take that separately, that's the information that's required. Okay? When we look at sales variances, we typically analyse them into a volume element. Have we sold more or less than we budgeted to sell? And a price element, did we sell at a higher or lower price than the standard? I would love to have a pro forma like we had before, but unfortunately with sales variances it doesn't really work. So we end up with formulae. Now, when we look at the sales volume variance, I said we want to compare actual sales to budgeted sales. Fine. Um, because we were told it was a marginal costing environment, we will value each sale at standard contribution margin. If it was a, an absorption costing environment, we would have valued it at standard profit margin, of course. And the sales price variance, actual price minus standard price, and we multiply by the actual sales. Uh, just like the proformers, you learn these. Learn them, please. So, those are our proformers. Very straightforward. We bash the numbers out. And if it's positive, it's favourable. If it's negative, it's adverse. Nothing sophisticated there. Four marks for that. Four. Four marks. That is too nice. But I'm sorry, if it's too nice, you've got to make sure you score each and every one of those marks. Know your computations. If you know your basic computations, you will do well in the exam. 